Hey, what is up guys? Jeremy here and welcome back to another tweak video. We're going to be taking a look at 10 really cool tweaks for iOS 9 and uh, I will leave all of the tweak information down in the description. Uh, some of the tweaks are free, some are paid, and some of them you will have to add a source for. Uh, like I said, it's all listed in the description uh, with the sources needed for the tweaks. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and let's jump into this. So the first tweak I have for you guys is called Kush. Now what this tweak does, it's kind of hard to explain, but it changes the kind of blur value or blur effect of control center uh, just slightly. It takes kind of the highlighted white away from it so it's not so bright. If we jump to the lock screen, you guys would probably be able to see it a little bit better because of my wallpaper here. So as you can see, control center, it just looks just a little bit different and that's due to this tweak called Kush. Uh, now coming in at number nine, while we have control center open, uh, is called Cream, and uh, what Cream is going to do is it's going to add watch OS kind of style buttons uh, for your toggle buttons here in Control Center. As you guys can see, the coloration of them looks really, really nice, and that is because of this tweak, Cream. And like I said, it's kind of like the watch OS kind of style. Let's go ahead and go into our device here. Go ahead and open up Control Center. So it just gives it kind of, you know, a nice little color to it. It's very simple. There's really no functionality. It just looks nice. Uh, again, this tweak is called Cream. Coming in at number eight is called Volume Sound. I really, really like this tweak. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just demo, uh, demonstrate it for you guys here really quickly. I'll shut up and change the volume on my device and it changes the volume sound as you guys can see. So that is the Yosemite sound. If we go into settings, we can change it to one other sound once we get down to volume sound. Go to configuration. There's currently only two sounds for it, which I wish they would add more, but I really like the options that we do get. We get Yosemite and then Mac. And I really like the Mac sound just because it just reminds me of my Mac. So let's go ahead and change the volume again for you guys. So there you go, that is pretty much all volume sound does is it gives you the ability to choose two different sounds uh, and you get a sound for when you change your volume. I really like it. Again, it's called volume sound. The next tweak I got for you guys is an older tweak, but I really like it. It's stupid simple and it just works really good. It's called swipe home. So if we open up our multitasking on our device here, uh, it's pretty annoying to go through and actually individually close all applications with swipe home, if we just go to the home page or uh, springboard page here, if you swipe up on it, boom, it kills all multitasking apps with one swipe. Extremely convenient and like I said, stupid simple. Again, that is called swipe home. Coming in at number six is called respring progress. I actually just recently covered this tweak and uh, what it does is it gives you a uh, progress bar or a loading bar for when you respring your device and it also does it when you reboot your device. I really like this tweak, so I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate it uh, for you guys here really quickly. Like I said, it does work for um, respringing, but I really like that it does work for rebooting. That way I know my device isn't like getting stuck in a reboot loop or something stupid. I know that my device is actually doing things while it's respringing or uh, rebooting. It's kind of like a peace of mind tweak. Um, it's just it's just nice to see that your device is actually working and how much further it has to go before it's done. So boom, there you go. That is pretty much all the tweak does. Again, it's called Respring Progress. Coming in at number five is called Meteor. Now what Meteor does is it adds current weather to your app icon and to your status bar. So if you guys look at my weather app, as you can see, it is cloudy out right now and it is currently a little bit chilly. It's 32 degrees out. And also, like I said, it is displayed in your status bar. So again, it's cloudy and it's 32 degrees. Now there's a lot of different stuff you can configure within the settings for Meteor. I'm not gonna show that on video. Uh, if you guys wanna see more in depth of Meteor, I'll leave the video link for my review on it. Um, but in a nutshell, basically just add current weather to your app icon and current weather to your status bar. The next tweak I got for you guys is called Custom Switcher Background. So when I opened up my multitasking, I'm sure you guys could probably tell that the background color is just a simple black. Uh, and that is because of the tweak custom switcher background. So if we go into the settings here, I'll quickly swipe down uh, to the tweak here, um, custom switcher background, and it's incredibly simple. Basically, all you gotta do is go ahead and select on color, and you can choose whatever color you want. 
your switcher background to be. I like keeping it as the black just because I think it looks nice, but like I said, you can have it be whatever color you want. It's incredibly simple. Pick your color, respring your device, and that's all you got to do. Again, this week is called a custom switcher background. Coming in at number three is called Calverter. Now, most of you probably won't need this tweak or won't even know what I'm talking about, but if you are a uh, computer programmer or into computer engineering, you guys might like this tweak and might want to install it on your device. Uh, so in your calculator application, if you go ahead and um, select on the value for whatever result you get for something, uh, most of you would know that you can copy or paste a result uh, into the calculator, but with Calverter, it allows you to copy it as a hexadecimal, copy it as an octal, paste it as a hexadecimal, and paste it as an octal as well. Now, like I said, if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, this tweak is not for you. Uh, but if you're a computer programmer, you guys might want to download this tweak. It's pretty awesome. Again, it's called Calverter. Coming in at number two is a tweak that's been around for a very long time. It's called Cylinder. Now, what Cylinder does is it gives you animated page scrolling effects. I'm sure most of you have seen this tweak, but if you haven't, it's definitely a must-have tweak from Cydia. It is free, and the reason why I added it in this top 10 lineup is because it's recently been updated to have new animations. Animations. So the developer is pretty damn good about you know adding new animations uh, every once in a while to kind of freshen the tweak up, and that's why I really really like it. It's you know one of my favorite tweaks of all time, and uh, this is one of the new animations. I can't remember the name of it, uh, but if it's something that you want to try out, again, it's called Cylinder. And last but not least, coming in at number one is a tweak that has no functionality. It just looks freaking cool. So if I give my device a nice little shake, as you guys can see. Gravitation takes effect and boom all my app icons go everywhere uh, This like I said, it's a really cool tweak. It just looks cool. There's really no function to this whatsoever It's just something you might want to show off to your friends uh, You know, they'd probably be like what the hell happened to your your iPhone when they see this uh, I just think it's really cool There's a lot of different stuff you can configure within the settings like how much gravity there is uh, the friction between the apps the bounciness of the apps uh, you can have it do kind of like an explosion animation when you activate gravitation. Just a, an overall cool looking tweak that really, like I said, doesn't do anything except for look cool. Uh, again, this tweak is called gravitation. Uh, and that's going to be pretty much it for this video, guys. These are 10 really cool tweaks I thought you guys might want to check out. Again, like I said, some of them are free, some of them are paid. Some of them you will need to add a source for in Cydia and uh, I will leave all of the package information for all the different tweaks down in the description. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this top 10 tweaks, be sure to throw a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more tweaks in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.